A prolonged period of hot, dry weather is continuing, and today Angus Hamilton is spreading pig muck using a Bunning Lowlander spreader on a 1989 Fent Favorit 614 LSA. Angus is loading the spreader using his JCB Lodal 52567 telehandler, which dates from the same era as the tractor, the series having been launched in late 1988 with a new chassis and cab, lower boom and equal size wheels. Capable yet compact, they enjoyed incredible popularity on farms during the early 90s until their replacement in 1995. This one was made in 1990. It has a 102 horsepower, 4 litre turbocharged Perkins phaser engine, which is mounted centrally and has a unique sound. Farm special versions like this benefited from additional power and cooling capacity compared to the standard industrial version. Here we are, uh, mid-September, 30 degree heat today, muck spreading. I don't normally spread any muck or import muck to the farm, but this year decided we'd have a go and spread some muck. Um, we're spreading on three fields, the worst land we've got, the most heaviest. So it's a bit of an experiment really, just to see if that really does help the soil work any better and hopefully improve yields on those three fields. Um, we're standing in a bit of a what looks like a bit of a mess really this greenness although it's it's coming this was originally drilled with winter wheat in mid-january but unfortunately the pigeons seem to have a lot of it in this particular area here which is quite heavy land and so i redrilled it with winter wheat on about the last day of march i believe just so we've got some green cover um to stop any wheat bulb fly attacking the the next crop which was going to be wheat so uh, I'm very surprised to see it's actually come to fruition we are intending to combine it and then I'll probably use it just for feeding the birds around the farm and stuff like that but I'm be interested to see what it yields really planting wheat that late winter wheat that late never done that before um, we're using Jonathan 614 LSA which seems to cope very well with the muck spreader she's got plenty of power um, it's a little warm in there today it's not too bad we're on the road though but uh, yeah she pulls it really well handles it nicely um, and uh, we're using this bunning spreader up hard in um, which I think makes a very very good job myself I like the bunning spreaders I think they really do a good job yeah makes a nice outfit anyway quite happy to have a day muck spreading haven't done any for years
The Bunning Lowlander 105 Mark IV spreader dates from 2007. Norfolk-based manufacturer GT Bunning & Sons built its first muck spreader in 1987 and launched the Lowlander range in 1991. Mark IV versions appeared in 2005 with slightly wider bodies and improved auger drive gearboxes. The 105 carries 12.6 tonnes.